even if you thought you had lost it, we all retain some curiosity about who and what we are. We look up at night, what does it all mean? How did it all get here? Where is it all going? I think it can only be a good thing, this rise of popularity of science. Some, a few years ago, we had the idea that maybe there are people who could benefit from learning science, but who don't know they could benefit from learning science. Or even better yet, people who know they don't like science, but in fact, we can find a way to get them to like it. And out of that came Star Talk. Welcome to the Hall of the Universe. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, your personal astrophysicist. First as a terrestrial radio program, then it went to podcasts, We're now on satellite radio, but then it jumped species. And now 20 of our 50 shows in a year appear on television as Star Talk. It's a celebration of science in our everyday lives. <laughs> what did we see up there what that prevented us from going back? What slowed us down? How come there's no Mickey D on the moon yet? Star Talk is the first ever talk show based on science. The audiences are growing. Not only that, National Geographic Books said, let's turn this into a book. It's all there, now you can sort of carry it with you. What you have to ask is, do you want to still expand the space frontier? If your answer to that is yes, you need NASA. Because the frontier has uncertain risks, uncertain costs, um, things that don't bode well in a meeting with investors. So, I see private enterprise as something that can turn the solar system into our backyard. But they, my read of history tells me that they can't do it first. If everyone has it in them, that as a nation we are exploring, you can turn a sleepy country into an innovation nation because then innovation just becomes kind of what you do. Of course I'm innovating, because that's what everybody else is doing. And by the way, you don't have to be a scientist or a STEM professional to innovate. I need attorneys to figure out how to establish mineral rights on these asteroids. I need a medical doctor who can help the health of astronauts. I need an artist to tell me the new story never before told, because we discovered a new vista that enables the imagination to land in a new place. It touches everyone. And more important than all of what I've just said is that when you innovate, you invent a tomorrow that become the foundations of the economies of tomorrow. And so that's the, for me, the most, the most certain way to assure the economic health of a country is to engage in highly innovative science and technology activities.